Hello and welcome to this AMSYS training podcast. My name is Hugo and today I'll be taking through the first episode of a series of three about Time Machine in 10.8. In episode one of this series, we'll be looking at an overview of Time Machine, how to set it up, how the local snapshots work and how to exclude items from your backup. In episode 2, we'll look at recovering data. We're going to look at full system recovery, single file recovery, and email recovery. Episode 3, we're looking at advanced setup, how to encrypt your backups, how to stop the alerts coming up when you plug in external drives, and how to change the schedule for your backups. Now let's start with an overview on Time Machine. Time Machine is Apple's built-in backup solution that backs up your Mac to an external drive, time capsule or Mac server in a single click. Time Machine automatically backs up your entire Mac including system files with the exception of files in the trash, cache files and log files. What makes Time Machine different from other backup applications is that it not only keeps a spec copy of every file, it remembers how your system looked on any given day. Time Machine keeps hourly backups for the past 24 hours, daily backups for the past month, and weekly backups until your backup drive is full. Setting up Time Machine is as easy as connecting an external drive to your Mac, either by Thunderbolt, Firewire, or USB, as long as that drive is macOS extended formatted. If you haven't specified the Time Machine backup device yet, Time Machine asks you if you'd like to use the disk for backup the first time you connect the disk in. If you ignore the message when it came up, you can go to the Time Machine system preferences and from there you can select your backup destination. Also here you can select the second destination for your backups. Local Snapshot is an handy feature from Time Machine that uses the free space on your Mac to create interactive backups of your files whenever you are away from your Time Machine destination. By default, it's disabled on all desktop Macs because it should only be needed when you're using a laptop. Your desktop normally will be connected to your Time Machine drive. If you have more than 20% free on your laptop hard drive, the local snapshot will start automatically. The backups are situated in an invisible file at the root of your system drive, called .mobile backups. After you've been away from your backup destination for 24 hours, the system will start doing only one snapshot per day. If your disk reaches 80%, you will start deleting them. If you reach critical, 90%, you will delete them with the highest priority. This might cause performance decrease while he's doing so. If you go parts of your drive or full drives that you want to exclude from your backups, you can open the Time Machine System Preferences, click on the options and add it to the exclusion list. If you decide to exclude the system forms, you will be asked if you want to just exclude the system folder or do you want to exclude all the system files? If you select to exclude all the system files, you will also exclude all invisible system files. With the exclusions, you can exclude just areas of your drive or the whole drive, but you can't exclude file types. I hope you enjoyed part one. Look out for part two coming soon. On behalf of AMSES, thank you for watching.